daily learners, let's play with these letter puzzles today. We'll learn the letter names, the sounds they make, and vocabulary to go with each letter sound. Okay, I have some letters. First, let's find the capital letters. Those are our uppercase letters, or the big letters. Hmm. Here's a big letter, A. A. Can you say A? Great. And here's another big letter, B. Can you say B? Nice. And here's the other big letter, C. Can you say C? Those are our capital letters, A, B, C. Now we need to find the matching lowercase letter. This is the lowercase a. Let's put it here on the puzzle. Do you see the lowercase b? There it is, it was upside down. Let's slide it in. B. That means this is the lowercase c. Let's put it right here. C. Here are some words that go with the sounds. So let's learn what sounds these letters make. A says, ah, ah. Say that with me, ah. We have a car, a butterfly, and an alligator. Which one of these starts with the ah sound? Yes, alligator. Let's say ah as we put the alligator with the letter A. Ah, alligator. Next we have the letter B. B says Say that with me. B. Great job. Let's look at our pictures again. We have a car and we have a butterfly. Which one starts with B? Yes, butterfly. B, B, butterfly. Let's say B, B as we put the butterfly with the B. B, B, B. Butterfly. Next we have the letter C. C says <laughs> Can you say that with me? <laughs> Great. It must go with this one. It's the only one left. This is a car. Let's say <laughs> as we put the car with the letter C. Car. A. Alligator. A. B. Butterfly. B. C. Car. <laughs> Let's do some more. Okay, here's some more letters. Hmm, let's flip them over. And let's find the capital letters, the big letters. Here's a capital D. Here's a capital E. And here's a capital F. Let's say those again. D, E, F. Now let's find the lowercase matches. Here's the lowercase d, a small d. Put it on. Here's the lowercase e. Put it on. That means this is the lowercase f. F. Now let's match the picture cards. Let's start with D. D says D. 
D. D. Hmm. We have an elephant, a fox, and a duck. Elephant, fox, duck. Hmm. Which one starts with a D sound? Yes, a duck. A d d duck. Let's say d d as we put the d with the duck. D d d duck. Nice work. E says e e e. Which one starts with e? Fox or elephant? Yes, elephant. Oops. E elephant. Let's say e as we put the elephant with the e. E. Stick it on top. Question. Elephant. That means this one must go with f. Fox. F says fox. Let's say and we put the F with the fox. Fox. We did it. D duck. E elephant. F fox. Let's do some more. More letters. First, let's find the uppercase letters. Here's an uppercase G. G. And here's an uppercase H. H. And here's an uppercase I. I. Now let's match them with their lowercase letters. Here's the lowercase g. Let's put it with the uppercase g. Do you see the lowercase h? There it is. This is a lowercase h. H. Now we have the lowercase i. I. Let's find the picture cards that go with the sounds. Let's start with G. G says G. G. Hmm. Which one of these starts with the G sound? Ice cream. Goat. Heart. Which one starts with G? Goat. G. Goat. Let's say G as we put the goat with the G. 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 Goat. Next we have the letter H. H says <sighs> Which one starts with that soft <sighs> sound? Heart or ice cream? Yes, heart. Heart. Let's say as we put the heart with the H. Heart. We did it. That means this must go with the letter I. This letter I says I. I. Ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yum. Let's do some more. Ta da! More letters. Let's turn them over and let's find the capital letters. Hmm. Here's a capital. J and 
Here's a capital K. Sometimes you say capital or uppercase. Uppercase K. And here's an uppercase L. And here's an uppercase M. J, K, L, M. Now let's find the matching lowercase letters. Let's look for the lowercase J. This is a lowercase J. Let's fit it in the puzzle. Let's look for the lowercase K. Here it is, K. Next, let's look for the lowercase L. Lowercase L. Last, we have the M. Let's find the lowercase M. There it is, M. Now let's find the words that go with these letter sounds. First, we have the letter J. J says J. 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 Hmm. We have a monkey. Juice. Lamp. Key. Hmm. Which one starts with J? Yes. The juice. Juice starts with J. J, 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 juice. Next we have K. K says K. K. Let's find the word that starts with K. Is it monkey, lamp, or key? Yes, key. Let's say K as we put the K with the key. Great. Next we have the letter L. L says ooh, 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 monkey? No. Ooh, lamp? Yes. Say that with me. Ooh, ooh, lamp. Nice work. That means we only have the M left. This is the word monkey. What sound do you think M makes? That's right. Mmm, mmm, like the beginning of monkey. Mmm, monkey. M says mmm, mmm, monkey. And a monkey says, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Okay, let's do some more. Let's turn these over. Okay, let's find the uppercase letters. Here's an uppercase N. Here's an uppercase O. Here's an uppercase P. Do you see any more? Yep, here's an uppercase Q. N, O, P, Q. Now let's find the lowercase letters. This is a lowercase N. Here's a lowercase O. Hmm, do you see the lowercase P? Is it this one? Let's try it. No, that's not it. Let's try this one. Hmm, it doesn't fit. I know. I'm going to turn it around. Let's try it the other way. Sometimes you have to try it more than one way to make it fit. Don't give up, you can do it. We found the lowercase p. That means this is the lowercase q. 
Now let's find the words that match with the letter sounds. N says N. Mm. Mm. Hmm, which one of these words starts with mm. Penguin, Queen, Octopus, or Nest? Which one starts with N? Nest. Yeah. Let's say N and put the nest with the N. Nest. This O says Ah. Uh, which one starts with Ah? Uh, octopus? Queen? Or penguin. Which one starts with ah? Octopus. Right. Let's say ah and put the O with the octopus. Ah. Octopus. P says <laughs> hmm. Penguin or queen? Which one starts with p penguin? P penguin. Let's say p as we put the P with the penguin. P p penguin. Can you waddle like a penguin? That means the queen goes with a Q. Q says qu qu queen. Queen. Hello, your majesty. We put these together. Let's do some more. Turn them over and let's find the uppercase letters. Here's an uppercase R. R. Here's an uppercase S. S. And here's an uppercase T. T. R, S, T. Now let's find the matching lowercase letters. Do you see the lowercase R? This is a lowercase R. R. Now, do you see the lowercase s? Yeah, this one. They look just alike. S. That means this is the lowercase t. T. Now let's find the words that go with the letter sounds. Let's start with r. R says Oh. Hmm. Sun, rainbow, turtle. Which one starts with the er sound? Yes, rainbow. Let's say er and put the R with the rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Nice work. Now we have the letter S. S says S. S. Turtle or sun? Which one starts with the S sound? Sun. Right. Let's say S and put the S with the sun. S. Sun. All right, that means T is for turtle. T says t, t, turtle. T, 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 turtle. Hello, turtle. Let's do some more. First, let's find the uppercase letters. 
Here's an uppercase U. This is an uppercase V. And this is an uppercase W. U, V, W. Do you see the lowercase U? Here it is, U. It looks very similar to the uppercase U. Do you see the lowercase v? Yeah, it's right here, v. That means this one is the lowercase w, w. Now let's find the words that go with the sounds. First, let's start with u. U says, uh, uh, watermelon, violin, umbrella. Which one starts with uh, umbrella? Let's say uh, and put the umbrella with the U. Uh, umbrella. I use an umbrella when it's raining or when it's really hot outside. The next sound is mm. V says mm. Kind of tickles your lip when you say mm. Hmm. Watermelon or violin? Which one starts with mm. Violin, that's right. Let's say mm, and put the violin with the V. Mm, violin. That means the watermelon goes with the W because W says mm, mm, watermelon. Mm, say it with me. Mm, watermelon. Nice work! Just a few more. Okay, let's find the uppercase letters. Here's an uppercase X. X. Here's an uppercase Y. Y. And here's an uppercase Z, Z, Z. X, Y, Z. Do you see the lowercase x? Is this it? No. Oh, here it is, x, lowercase x, uh-oh. It doesn't fit. What do I do? Oh, it turn, turn, turn. Turn it until it fits. Next, let's find the lowercase y. Here it is. Y. Put it on. And this is the lowercase z. Z. Uh-oh. Turn, 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 Z. Now let's find the pictures that go with the letter sounds. Hmm. This is an X. Usually X says X. Sometimes X says Z. So this is gonna be a little tricky because we have a xylophone, yarn, and zebra. Which word starts with z? The, the others too, xylophone and zebra. Oh no. Let's see, does zebra fit? No, it can't be zebra. 
That means it must be xylophone. Xylophone is spelled with an X that says Z. Xylophone. Usually X says X, like box. This is a box. Open the box. Close the box. Box. But today X says Z. Next we have the letter Y. Y says Y. Y. Hmm. Zebra yarn. Which one starts with Y? Yarn. Let's say Y and put the yarn with the Y. Y. Yarn. Nice. That means our very last one is zebra and z. Z says z. Zebra. Zebra. Yay! We did all the letters and sounds and we talked about the vocabulary. Can you think of other words that start with these letter sounds? Let's try. Let's play a game. This is the letter A. A says ah, alligator, alligator. Which one of these objects starts with the ah sound? Lobster, apple, yellow. Lobster, apple, or yellow? Apple. Apple starts with ah. Apple. This is the letter B. B says b. Butterfly. Which word starts with b? Maraca. Horse. Bird. Maraca. Horse. Bird. Which one starts with b? Yes, bird. And it's a blue bird. B, b, bird. This is the letter C. C says k, car. Which one of these objects starts with a k sound? Finger, camel, top. Finger, camel, or top. Which one starts with k? Yes, camel. Camel starts with k, 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 camel. This letter is D. D says d, duck. Which object starts with a d sound? Dragonfly, spider, Grape, dragonfly, spider, grape. D -d dragonfly, dragonfly starts with d. This is the letter E. E says e. elephant. Which word starts with the e sound? Visor, rabbit, eggplant. Visor, rabbit, eggplant. Eggplant, e eggplant. This is the letter F. F says f fox. Which object starts with Finger, moose, ostrich. Finger, moose, ostrich. Yes, finger. Finger starts with f. 
One little finger, one little finger, one little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. Point your finger down. Put it on your head. Head. Finger. This is the letter G. G says G. Goat. G. Goat. Which one starts with G? Strawberry, grape, whale. Strawberry, grape, or whale. Grape. G. G. Grapes. Mmm, delicious purple grapes. This is the letter H. H says heart. Heart. Which object starts with a sound? Horse, spider, top. Horse, spider, top. Horse. Horse. Oops. Horse starts with nay, nay, nay. This is the letter J. J says j, juice, j, juice. Which object starts with the j sound? Maraca, Jupiter, yellow. Maraca, Jupiter, or yellow. J, j, Jupiter. Jupiter is a planet in our solar system. Jupiter, j, j, Jupiter. This is the letter K. K says k, key, k, key. Which object starts with a k sound? Narwhal, kangaroo, visor. Narwhal, kangaroo, or visor. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. Hello, kangaroo. Pop, pop, pop. This is the letter L. L says L lamp. L lamp. Which object starts with L? L. Poop. <laughs> Lobster. Or quilt. Poop, lobster, quilt. Which one starts with L? Lobster. This is a red lobster. This is the letter M. M says M mm, monkey. M mm, monkey. Which object starts with a M mm sound? Mmm, maraca, whale, strawberry. Maraca, whale, or strawberry. Maraca. Let's shake the maraca. Mmm, maraca. This is the letter N. N says N, nest. N, nest. Which object starts with n? Rabbit, narwhal, or quilt? Rabbit, narwhal, or quilt? N, narwhal. A narwhal is like a unicorn that lives in the sea. This narwhal is green. Bye bye, narwhal. This letter is O. O says ah, octopus. Ah, octopus. Which object starts with the ah sound? Yellow, ostrich, spider. Yellow, ostrich, spider. Ah, 
ostrich. Ostrich starts with the ah uh, sound. This is the letter P. P says p penguin. P penguin. Which object starts with a p sound? Visor, whale, or poop? Visor, whale, or poop? Yes, poop. Poop. And this poop is pink. Pink also starts with p. Pink. This letter is Q. Q says qu. Queen, qu queen. Which object starts with a qu sound? Apple, quilt, or moose? Apple, quilt, or moose? Qu qu quilt. Let's put the quilt on the queen. This is the letter R. R says r rainbow. R rainbow. Which word starts with the sound r, r, horse, rabbit, lobster, horse, rabbit, or lobster? R, rabbit. Rabbit starts with this is the letter S, and S says sun. Which of these objects says s whale, spider, yellow? Whale, spider, yellow. Which one starts with a s sound? Spider. Look at this spooky spider. This letter is T. T says t turtle. T turtle. Which of these objects starts with a t sound? Ostrich, top, visor. Ostrich, top, or visor. Yeah, top. This is a top. Let's spin it. Wow. Top. Do you like to play with tops? This is the letter V. V says v violin. V violin. Which of these objects starts with a V sound? Visor, whale, strawberry. Visor, whale, or strawberry? Visor. A visor is a kind of hat that doesn't have a top. Just the visor to cover your eyes. Visor. Do you ever wear a visor? This letter is W. W says mm, watermelon. Mm. Watermelon. Which of these objects starts with a mm sound? Yellow, whale, lobster. Yellow, whale, or lobster? Whale. Whale starts with mm. This letter is Y. Y says ye yarn. E yarn. Which of these objects starts with the e sound? Eraser, yellow, car. Eraser, yellow, or car? Yellow. Yellow starts with e. This is a yellow highlighter. yellow. If you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you at my next learning video. Bye!
Let's read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. and John Arkenbolt, illustrated by Louise Ellert. Open. Open. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Up, 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 up the top. This is the top. We said D to E, F, G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. Up, 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 up. And I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L, M, N, O, P and QRS and TUV. Are they all going to fit in the top of the coconut tree? Still more. W, X, Y, and Z. The whole alphabet up the, oh no! Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. What happened? All the letters fell out of the coconut tree. Skit, scat, scoodle, doo, flip, flop, flea. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. Help us up, cried ABC. ABC. Next from the pile up, skinny D. Oh no, he's got a band-aid on. And stub-toed E. Ouch. And patched up F. Then comes G, all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. Oh, look at them together. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped. N is stooped. O is twisted alley-oop. Skit, scat, scoodle, doot, flip, flop, flea. Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed P, Q, R, S, and Loose Tooth T. Then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. Last to come, X, Y, Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But, chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Oh, A. I don't think you're supposed to be going to the top of the tree. Let's say our ABCs. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y M Z. Now I know my A B C. Next time, won't you sing with me? The end. <laughs> Hi early learners, let's put together these shape puzzles today. We'll learn our shapes, colors, sizes, and have fun. Let's go. I need a yellow egg carton. Open. Purple, red, yellow, green, blue, orange. Let's see what's in one of the eggs. Oh, the green egg's a little bit open. It's too big. Let's see what's inside. It's a square. Say, square. Square. The square has four sides. One, two, three, four. The square is orange. 
Let's go put the square puzzle back together. Here's our square puzzle board. Now we need to put the square pieces away. Let's start with the biggest piece. Red square. Yellow square. Blue square, green square, orange square. Put all the squares back together. Let's open another color egg. How about purple? Open. This is a circle. Circle. Say circle. A circle has no straight sides, only one curved side, one curved line. Let's go put the circle puzzle back together. This is a circle. Let's put all the circle pieces back. They're all different sizes. Let's put the biggest one on first. Is this the biggest one? No. Is this the biggest one? No. Let's try the red one. Perfect. Let's do yellow. Yellow circle. Blue circle, green circle, orange circle. We did all the circles. They fit just right. Let's open another egg. Let's do the orange egg. I wonder what shape is inside. Open. It's a flower. Flower. Say flower. The flower looks like it has round sides, like petals. Let's go put this orange flower back on the rest of the flower puzzle. This is a flower puzzle. Let's put all the flower pieces back in the puzzle. Let's start with the smallest piece this time. Hmm, there's a small flower. Which one is the next smallest? Orange flower. Green flower. Blue flower. If it doesn't fit, Turn, turn, turn until it fits. Yellow flower and red flower. We did it. What color should we do next? How about red? Let's see what shape is in the red egg. It's a star. Star. Say, star. Do you know the song? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. A star has five pointed tips. One, two, Three, four, five. Let's go put this orange star back with the rest of the star puzzle. This shape is a star. Let's put the star back together. Let's start with the smallest piece. Orange star. 
which color comes next? Red? No. Green? Yes, green. Blue star. Is that right? No. I have to turn, turn, turn until it fits. Yellow star. Red star. We did it. Let's do the blue egg next. Do you see the blue egg? There it is. Blue. And let's open it. Open. This is a triangle. Say triangle. Tri means three. And a triangle has three angles and three sides. One, two, three. Triangle. Let's go put this orange triangle back with the rest of the triangle puzzle. This shape is a triangle. Let's put the triangle pieces back. Let's start with the biggest triangle. I know it's the biggest if it fits right in. No. No. Yes, red triangle. No. No. Yes, yellow triangle. Which one do you think comes next? Blue triangle. That's right. Green triangle, orange triangle, we did it. Which egg is last? Yeah, the yellow egg, yellow. Let's open the yellow egg, open. What shape is this? Let's count the sides, one, two, Three, four, five, six. This shape has six sides. A six-sided shape is a hexagon. Hexagon. Say hexagon. Yeah, hexagon. Let's put this hexagon with the rest of the hexagon puzzle. This is a hexagon. A hexagon has six straight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six straight sides. Here's our hexagon pieces. Let's put the yellow one on first. Yellow hexagon. Blue hexagon. Red hexagon. Hmm, how do I make it fit? That's right, I turn, turn, turn until it fits. Green hexagon. Orange hexagon. put together our hexagon. Let's say our shapes one more time. Triangle, circle, flower, hexagon, star, square. What was your favorite shape? 
I like the flower and the triangle. Thanks for playing with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my other learning videos. Keep playing and I'll see you next time. Bye! Let's read Little Blue Truck. There's the blue truck. I see lots of animals in the blue truck. This book is by Alice Shirtle. Open. Horn went beep. Engine purred. Friendliest sounds you ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road. Beep said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. Do you know how to wink? Sheep said ba. Cow said moo. Oink said a piggy. Beep said blue. Do you see the sheep and the cow and the pig? There's the sheep. There's the cow. And there's the pig. And there's the little blue truck. Cluck said a chicken and her chick said peep. Ma said a goat. Blue said beep. Where's the chicken? Where's the goat? There's the chicken. There's her chick. And there's the goat. Nay, said a horse. Quack, said a duck. Beep, said the friendly little blue truck. There's the horse. And there's the duck. Everyone saying good morning to each other. Honk, yelled a dump truck. Coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Oh no, is this big dump truck being nice? No. Vroom, went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. Uh-oh, who's going to help the dump truck? His heavy-duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Onk, cried the dump, and he sounded scared. But nobody heard, or nobody cared. Why isn't anybody helping the dump truck? That's right, the dump truck was not being friendly. So now the animals are not being friendly back. Then, into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Now blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Uh-oh, little blue truck tried to help, but now little blue truck is stuck too. Do you think anyone's going to help little blue? Let's find out. Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, beep, beep. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Everybody heard that. Beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. It seems like the animals are going to help the blue truck. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. Then hen came flapping with the chick and the duck, and everybody pushed the little blue truck. They're working together to help the truck because Little Blue is so nice. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed Blue who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but the big green toad, showing his big green muscles. Can you show your muscles? Wow. This toad is small but mighty. All together, one, two, three, one last push, and the trucks were free. Yay, they worked together, and they freed the dump truck and little blue truck from the mud. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to blue. You helped me, and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. The dump truck learned something. It learned that you have to be nice to others so that others will be nice to you. It's good to help each other.
Beep, said Blue, who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, clock, beep, nay, croak, ma. Beep, 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 there they go. Wow, the end. <laughs>Let's learn about telling time today with this clock. This is a clock. This clock is a circle. And look, who's that? It's Mickey. Hi, Mickey Mouse. Let's put the numbers back, starting with the number one. Here's the number one. It's on an orange flower. One. Next is the number two. Here's the number two. It's on a blue parallelogram. Two. Next is the number three. Three is on a green triangle. Let's do the next number. Here's the number four. Four is on a blue square. A square has four sides. One, two, three, four. And a triangle has three sides. One, two, three. Next is the number five. Here's five. It's on a purple pentagon. The pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. What's the next number? Yeah, six. Here's the six. Six is on a red hexagon. And a hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next number is seven. Here's seven. It's on an orange oval. Next. The number eight. Here's eight. The eight is on a blue octagon. Octagons have eight sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next is the number nine. Here's nine. The nine is on a green trapezoid. Next number is 10. Here's 10. 10 is on a blue rhombus. You can also call this a diamond. Next is the number 11. Here's 11. The 11 is on a purple rectangle. And last we have the number 12. 12 is on a red star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yay! Let's count our numbers again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's learn how to tell time. A clock tells us what time it is. A clock has two hands. A short hand and a long hand. The short hand tells us the hour, and the long hand tells us the minute. When it's on the 12, we can say o'clock. Yeah, o'clock. Clocks always start at 12. If it's at 12, that means the minute is at zero. Zero minutes. And the hour is whatever number it's pointing to. So if we keep the minute hand at 12 and we move the hour hand, we can see all the hours. Let's start with one o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock. 
let's move it to the two. Now we can say two o'clock. You try. Two o'clock. Great. Let's try it with the three. Three o'clock. You try. Three o'clock. Great job. Let's keep going. Now it's four o'clock. You try. Four o'clock. Great job. What do you think comes next? Five o'clock. Your turn. Yeah, five o'clock. We can keep going all the way around. You say this number for the hour, and when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, you say o'clock. Six o'clock. Your turn. Great job! Now what time is it? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Let's move the shorthand again. Now it's eight o'clock. Your turn. Eight o'clock. Almost done. Now it's nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Let's keep going. 10 o'clock. What time is it? That's right, 10 o'clock. Can you do two more? Move the hand. What, hand. what number is the hour hand pointing to? 11, 11 o'clock. Oh no, what happens if both the hands are pointing at the 12? Did you say 12 o'clock? Because you're correct, 12 o'clock. Great job. Now we know that whatever number the shorthand is pointing at, that's the hour. And the minute hand is the long hand, whatever number the minute hand is pointing at, that's the minute. And if it's at the 12, then we say o'clock. There are 60 minutes in an hour. 60 minutes is one hour. And these numbers tell us what the minute is. See these little red dots? Each of those is one minute. Let's count starting at the top. One, two, three, four, five. That's five minutes. What do you think is here? How many minutes do you think this is? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five. So in between every number is five minutes. Five. So when you're learning how to tell time, it's important to know how to count by fives. This clock tells us how to count by fives. I'll say it and then you say it with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Remember how I said there were 60 minutes in one hour? Yeah, so every time we get back to 60, the minutes start again from one. Isn't that interesting? Let's say those numbers by five again, starting with five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Let's do it again, but a little bit faster. Are you ready? 
starting with five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. You counted to 60 by fives. We can change the time to tell us the minute. If the minute hand is pointing at the one, that means that it's something 05. So let's see, let's put the hour here. 10 o'clock, 10. But the minute hand is not pointing at the 12, it's pointing at the one. So it's 10. Oh, five. Ten. Oh, five. What if we move the minute some more? Ten. 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 The hour hand points to the big number and the minute hand points to the little number. Ten. Ten. Keep going. Ten. 15, 10, 15. We're gonna go down to the four, which means it's, the hour is 10, the minute is 20. 10, 20, 10, 20. Let's change the hour. Let's make it in the two o'clock time. There we go, so the hour points to the big number. And the minute hand points to the small number, the minute. So now the hour is two and the minute is 25. Two, 25. Two, 25. Two, 30. Two, 30. We're halfway there. 235. What time is it? 235. 240. 245. 250. 255. Uh oh, what happens when it comes up here to the 60? That means it's a new hour. If it's 260, that means it's 3 o'clock. If the minute hand is pointing at the 12, we say o'clock. 3 o'clock. Yeah. Wow, you're getting good at telling time. Now, what about if the hour hand is pointing in between two numbers? If it's in between two numbers, then you always go with the first number. So if I move this minute here and the hour hand here, it's in between the three and the four. That means it's in the three o'clock hour and some minutes. So this says it's three o'clock and five, six, seven. Oh, it's 3.07, 3.07. Now the hour hand is in between two numbers, but you always go with the first number. So now it's four, 10, 4, 10, 4, 10. Let's try another one. What number is the hour hand pointing at? It's pointing in between the six and the seven. That means we go with the first number, which is six. Six, and let's look at the minutes. The minute went just a little past 15. So let's count 15, 16, 17. That means it's 6, 17. 
six seventeen. Now let's ask some questions. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at Do you know what time I go to bed? Seven thirty. I go to bed at seven thirty. Say that with me. I go to bed at seven thirty. What time do you wake up? Okay, the hour hand is pointing at the eight and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, which means you say eight o'clock. I wake up at eight o'clock. Your turn. I wake up at eight o'clock. What time do you eat lunch? The hour hand is pointing at the 11 and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. I eat lunch at 11 o'clock. Say it with me. I eat lunch at 11 o'clock. Mickey says, great job practicing telling time. Keep playing and I'll see you at my next learning video. Bye. Let's read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Say open, open. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the egg on the leaf? The egg is little. And there's the moon. I wonder what's in the egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Do you see the caterpillar? He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. One. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Let's count the pears. One, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. Let's count the plums. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Let's count the red strawberries. One, two, three, four. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Let's count how many foods the caterpillar ate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a chrysalis around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. He nibbled a hole in the chrysalis, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, did you know that caterpillars transform into butterflies? Look at their beautiful wings and their antenna. 
Flap, flap, flap. Bye-bye, butterfly. The end.